Hello everyone! Do you know... Well, I'm sure everyone knows who's watching this video, but I just learned that uh, Mr. Lisboy Jerusalem has composed the song we're going to listen to today. So I'm excited, I'm expecting something super French. This is uh, the song from France, uh, by the way, if you, if you didn't know already. This one's called Voila by Barbara Pravi. Um, and uh, I'm just excited to listen to it. Let's hope for something super French because I'm, I'm enjoying those stereotypical things. Let's go. Écoutez-moi, moi la chanteuse à demi. Piano has great sound, and her voice is super distinct on top of it. À vos amis, parlez-leur de cette fille aux yeux noirs. Et de son rêve fou. Moi, ce que je veux, c'est écrire des histoires qui arrivent jusqu'à vous. It's nice how they kind of swap up the chords. That's... Voilà, voilà, oh, that's a nice transition. Voilà qui je suis. Arpeggios. Mise à nu, j'ai peur. Great movement. Voilà dans le bruit et dans le silence. Regardez-moi. Regarde. Ouh, 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 the cello. I'm liking how the chords kind of hit on the... They vary in their length between the chords, it's quite nice. Such a great movement in it. The vocals are so distinguished in the middle of it. It's quite classical in that aspect with the... with the dynamics. Mm. So nice. Oh, they're like the ladder downwards in the chords. I'm loving the instrumentation of this. It's so contrastive with itself. Okay. Like the double bass. Ça me sauvera peut-être pas. Mais faire sans vous, je sais pas comment. Aimez-moi comme on aime. It feels so raw in a way, you know. It's so scaled back, very honest in that sense, sincere. Parce que moi, je sais pas bien aimer mes coups. Hmm, the rise, we rise, and we have the the small piano notes really building it into the chorus. Having some energy here in the constant piano chord hits. And the strings join in. Got like a percussion with some little claps. Building. Tempo. Oh, that's so great. Really speed up the tempo towards the end. That's incredible. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay, France has actually done what I've wanted France to do for so long, and that's to just really stick or really try and um, showcase what everyone kind of associates them with. It, it, I know it's stereotypical, but. I've longed to have a song like this for so long from France, and I'm so happy to have it. Um, I think that, obviously, that's not the only thing that I really like about it, because musically, compositionally-wise, I'm not gonna try and uh, and um, uh, claim that I understood everything that was going on here, because I didn't. There are things to really catch up on in this one, I think. Uh, it's not just listen once and you understand the whole song, because that's there's no way about that with this one. Uh, I think the main thing that really hits me with it, though, is that it's so humane. Uh, it feels so raw, so honest. This is not digitally composed, which is such a pleasant thing to hear. And if it is, it's done in a way that sticks really to how a human would <laughs> compose it. Um, with the, I think, mainly the, the tempo uh, differing there towards the end. Uh, that's such a, a key part of how uh, 
of how we how we make songs come alive. Uh, you don't need the detailing with uh, digital effects and and sounds hitting all over the place. When you really feel like something is happening in the song, something that you can really attach yourself to, uh, something that feels very uh, tangible in that sense, that it's not explosive sounds or something, it's something that's kind of acoustic, it's something that you hear, uh, you can you can imagine yourself hearing, you don't have a computer processing out these sounds. Um, I'm just rambling on things that don't make sense now, I think, but what my main point is, is that this song really shows off the beauty of uh, music that is composed, you know, craftsmanship, uh, practical craftsmanship, or, or whatever you say. Um, songs that have been written, composed, arranged, and uh, recorded for the intention of really making it sound authentic, really making it sound the way it was written down, not the way that it was uh, produced or, or placed down on a screen. This was written, composed, on paper, maybe not, but <laughs> that's, the, that's the kind of vibe that I get from it. Uh, it feels very classical in, in many aspects, with especially, I think, the dynamics between different instruments and how they correspond with each other. Uh, and they, they kind of switch up things throughout the song, which is such a pleasant uh, experience to have, because you don't really know what's coming next, and that is, uh, that is just... A 10 out of 10 for me when you when you manage to do that uh, in such an effective way you have the cello coming in at certain points then I think it's either a violin a viola I'm not too confident with the string instruments and I'm guessing a double bass um, at one point and it's not like these instruments really take over the soundstage when they join in they're just there to kind of add some variation just backing it up a little bit create something like oh you we can attach or the listener can latch onto this now, and the listener can latch onto this now, um, while still keeping the vocal central. The vocal is always in the focus here, which is so palpable to me. Uh, I'm really enjoying that. Uh, it's well written, I think, and it's written with the intention of uh, really coming across as authentic and honest and sincere in that sense. It feels very pure at its core, I think. Um, well, I can I can ramble on to this one. I'm I'm gonna listen to it over and over again right now. I think after I finish recording this, because I really just want to delve into this song and really try and and put myself in the heads of of the songwriters and the arrangers and the producers and whatnot. Uh, also, quite well produced. I mean, for for a song that seems so honest and or so um, raw in its approach, uh, producing it can be kind of tricky because you might overdo it, it's kind of easy to overdo it, and you might not produce it enough, because all songs need the production these days in order to really stack up next to the uh, next to all of the other songs. And I think there are still some digital polishing in the production here, but it's not to the point where it has really taken over the, uh, the authentic feeling that I get from it. And um, I think that's a nice balance that they really tried to keep to, and um, just everything about this, how it comes together, I'm a massive fan. Uh, I really am. So um, thank you, Franz, for uh, for doing this, for providing me with something that I can adore to this level. Um, because it was it was great. I I loved it. Um, so now I want to read what everyone else has to say about it. Uh, has this also been something that you've waited for from Franz? Maybe. Uh, I I know that's kind of harsh to say because it's so stereotypical, but I just. I've just wanted something like this. It's just my uh, selfish uh, take on it. But I want to read what everyone else has to say on this song, so do leave your opinions in the comments below, and hopefully I will uh, see everyone in the next one, where I think we're going to Georgia? I think, George yeah, Georgia, probably. Uh, so I hope to see you all in that one, and uh, other than that, have a good one until next time. Take care of yourselves, and bye-bye. Uh,